My name is Optimus Prime. Just kidding. Today we're going to make a size comparison of Transformers. So first we have Optimus Prime. You probably know this guy. Now first we're going to start with the Autobots. Now this guy is another version of Optimus Prime. And this is Sentinel, you know this guy. This is Hand, this is Ironhide, this is Ratchet. And, well, I'll go to the through again. And what about Sentinel? Sentinel's cool. And what about these four? And, um, you probably know it all now, so. Now let's go to Jewel Cross. And now let's go to the Wreckers and Q slash Wheeljack. Now those guys are pretty cool. And Jetfire is too big to even fit in the screen. Now, but this time we have five, okay? Jetfire is a blackbird. A very big. And, you know Skids and Mudflap, the guy that got... Now... One of those guys got hit by a tire when Devastator swallowed like pretty much anything. And the the Acre Sisters. And that's it for the Autobots, but now let's move on to the you know the other guys. Now this time we're going to look at the Drones and others. Now, these guys are pretty cool. Why the heck is this cover? Anyways, this is Galvatron. Now, Galvatron is another version of Megatron, and Stinger, you know that guy. So, um, Megatron's head is smaller than the size, I mean, bigger than the size of Galvatron's head. And this is not, now, this is Stinger, and this is Lockdown, and this is the Night Ship Crew. I don't know what this is. And the KSI boss, I don't know. Two head, me too. I don't know him. And Chevy Drax, Chevy Drax, and Chevy Drax. Hot tracks. Another tracks. And Junk Heap. Are those guys combined to make him? And a real bot? Seriously? Oh my gosh. Wow, that's weird. And now we're going to go to the Decepticons, which are most, which probably are known for their all, for their always appearing in movie thing. And where are the Decepticons? And why are these comments up? Oh, so. Are they not here? Let me check. Gosh. Where are you? Oh. There you are. Oh yeah, and we haven't talked about the Dinobots. Now, you know the Dinobots. Now, Grimlock's pretty big. This is the size of Optimus Prime. 28 feet. And this is the size of Grimlock. Now, he is like four times bigger. And for some way, Optimus Prime was able to defeat this Tyrannosaurus Rex giant. And this is Slug, a small but just, almost just as powerful Dinobot. Now he's a Triceratops with teeth, huh? And in and this is Strafe. Strafe is a protect 
Patrona down. I don't know how to pronounce it. And he's the smallest of the Dinobots. And also, he is a two-headed Patrona God. I don't know how to say it again. Now, this guy's Scorn. Now, Scorn is a guy with a hand which is a tail and can transform into a, a nice Spinosaurus. Yeah. So, these guys are pretty cool. Now, they all came out from Age of Extinction and The Last Night. Now, now those guys are pretty cool. We haven't talked about Decepticons. And finally, we're going to talk about the Decepticons. And you're like, finale probably. Decepticons, where are you? Now, you guys are pretty big. So, oh yeah, and we haven't talked about the warriors from the last night because there are a few more. Like, Day Trader. Now, you know this guy. Optimus Prime. Or in other words, Nemesis Prime. And the fat guy, Han. But this time, Han was one pound I mean, one feet smaller, and Bumblebee was one feet tall. In the World War II, Bumblebee is the same size. Hot Rod is, an, you know, an, per, an Autobot which can stop time. World War II Hot Rod is just a World War II version. In Crosshairs and Drift, you know this guy. From Age of Extinction. Now, Volleybot and Topspin, I don't know what this guy is. Day Trader, um, I don't know what this guy is either. It's probably just a, probably just a truck which carries a lot of stuff. And World War II Tank, okay, he's just a tank. Um, Trench, I don't know what this guy is. Lena, I don't know what this guy is. Canopy, like, look, I am... I didn't watch much of, you know, the last night. And this guy is Grimlock. You know this guy. And also the Triceratops slug. And Dragonstorm. A.K.A. the Knights. That's a lot of Knights. Now he's the same size as Optimus Prime. The Knights. I mean, an individual knight. And how big was Dragonstorm again? Well, oh, it doesn't show up. And, um, that's it for the last night, Autobots. You, s you thought I was going to say the last night video. The video. Huh. It's pretty obvious. Uh, where are you, Decepticons? Now, there is no Decepticon, but there is the last night Decepticon. Where, where is it? Okay, we'll have to restart this again. Is there... No, there's no Decepticon. Well, at least we'll see the the last night Decepticons. I mean, it's pretty cool. At least that's what I think. Mm -hmm. Now, Megatron is two feet taller at thirty feet, and he's a Cybertronian jet. That's pretty cool. And Onslaught is a Western Star for forty nine hundred EX. I don't know what that is, V. 
of course. And Barricade is on, you know, police car. Dreadbot, I have no idea what this guy is. But it says you can transform into a Volkswagen Type 2, huh? And, and Mohawk, I have no idea what this guy is, okay? I never watched Transformers the last night. Mohawk, mm, Confendrate, right? I don't know how to pronounce it. G2, P51, Combat Fighter. Customized Chevrolet Suburban. Nitrozeus and Sab Jazz 39 Gripping. Now, notice that the Stinger doesn't really have wheels. So did Galvatron. That's because he transformed into Transformium at it. He's a, a bot way out of Transformium. Anyways, this is an Infernicon. Un uh, and this is Quintessa, which made Optimus Nemesis. And you know the 21 feet guy, Infernicon? At least that was, that's what I expect. And this is Infernicus, a combination of Infernicons. As you can see, the Infernicus is two times bigger than an Infernicon. Junk heap, I have no idea who this guy is. And that's it for these guys. And how we talk constructor cons? Have we? Do you know what constructor cons are? Now, constructor cons are. Guys which transform into, you know, construction vehicles. Oh my gosh, why is this so fast? <laughs> now this is... Now these guys are pretty cool. I mean, there aren't a lot. Okay, there is Devastator. And... Devastator possibly can be the biggest of any other Transformer. Now, this is a comparison against Optimus Prime. Okay, maybe Grimlock could be bigger, possibly. I personally think Devastator is a top one. That is not counting the Driller, which is huge. And two is Demolisher. Scavenger is pretty much the same thing. Only in a red version. Long haul is 30 feet, not that big. In Scrapper is 29, Mixmaster is 22, and so is Rampage. I oh yeah, I remember that guy. And that's it for this video. And you're probably like, wait, 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 wait. There was no the regular Decepticons. Sorry, but in this list, there are no Decepticons, like, specifically. So, if you like that, I'll leave a link to these cool guys, and like and subscribe. You know what, maybe this time you can do an unlikely 